Hey guys, what up? It's Goose TV here again today, and today I'm back with another Mad Mobile video on my channel. Now, today's video, guys, I'm so, so excited to bring you. I've done these a few times before, and they're always a lot of fun. I always get a fantastic response on them, and I thought it was only fitting to do one here today. We've got a most feared promo concept. If you haven't seen any of my other promo concepts before, I'd highly recommend you check them out so you can see kind of what this is going to be about. But basically, this is not what the most feared promo is going to be. This is my thoughts on it. This is what I think. I think it should be this is my ideas all the card art was created by me on photoshop i'm gonna give some shout outs to people here in a second but uh yeah all the stuff was created by me so the, none of this is real we are getting the actual most feared promo or whatever they're calling it. i'm sure it'll be most feared on thursday i'm sure we're gonna get some sort of reveal tomorrow on wednesday but uh yeah we're gonna be showing you guys my thoughts on what most feared should be this year in today's video if you guys are new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications so you never miss any of my videos 70% of you guys aren't subscribed, so please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Let's try to get this video to 150 likes. Let me give some shoutouts to people first. First of all, everybody in my Discord, a bunch of people help me out with card ideas and player ideas and a bunch of different things. Uh, no Chill is working on one of these himself, and we were kind of exchanging ideas and things. And then Mag, he has given me a lot of these templates and things before, and he actually just started him his own YouTube channel. And he's got a bunch of really fun things on there, not just like normal content. Like, I make a lot of informative videos. There's going to be videos like, you know, how to having to do with Photoshop stuff or you know making cards and working with bots and disco all this fun stuff mad mobile pro tips I'll leave a link in the description to go check out his channel He just started it up. I want you guys to go hit him give him a subscribe give him support and check out his content I would really really appreciate it. Thank you mag as always for uh, these all these crazy templates and everything but guys we are going to get into it here is most feared as you can see we got some cards on the left and some descriptions on the right no time to fear most feared is finally here for whatever reason this the font is the same size across the top but when i did like some of those in purple it actually changed the size so i don't know it's weird play events in three different sections we got ghost witch and spider collect ghost witch and spider collectibles and most feared players to earn 89 overall masters collect one of each master to to earn 90 overall Grandmaster Aaron Donald, as you can see in the bottom right there. Earn pumpkin tokens from events to get mystery, most feared pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns that reveal on Halloween. And make sure to come back on Halloween to earn trick or treat masters. As you can see, some of the masters, Russell Wilson, Khalil Mack, JJ Watt, we're going to get into some of that stuff here in a second. And what you see behind the news screen, whatever, this is on Halloween night. Um, so this is the kind of the overlay you will see on Halloween. It says it's Halloween night, play trick or treat events to earn candy used to get trick or treat masters so we'll get to that and everything in a second but this is what i have so far you see the kind of custom most feared logo the font isn't great i love the pumpkin carving effect i like to do that with some of my logos i'm actually going to be changing my logo here in a few days uh from the pink to some sort of halloween theme kind of thing uh, but that's what i did for this promo so all the cards will have that little uh pumpkin with the mf kind of stitched into it carved into it uh is a better word for that so let's head over to the main live event screen i won't lie this isn't my favorite live event screen I've made not too pleased with it but it, I ha I kind of I'm not even gonna lie I kind of procrastinated a lot and kind of rushed uh, not rushed but got a lot of this done kind of last minute so um, this is the live event screen as you can see right now this is mainly going to be focused on the three different sections so you saw that there was three different sections in you know on that main screen there's ghost witch and spider and there's gonna be three different collectibles we're gonna get into you know some images of everything uh, once we kind of deep dive into how this is going to work in my eyes um but basically uh you're going to have some different events with the different uh types of cards and the different costume collectibles that you're going to be able to use for some of the masters so obviously you're going to want to complete the ghost events if you want to do ghost you're going to want to complete the witch events if you're going to do witches and then if you're, you're going to want to complete spider if you want to complete spider as you can see they all kind of function a little bit differently uh spider collectibles are going to be just kind of refreshed like you can just play them as many times as you want kind of thing Thing. Uh, ghost events are going to be a daily chain, so you get a bunch of rewards, but it's only a one-time type reward um, each day. So you play that, and then you're done. The witch are going to be rotating, so some are on, some are off. So I kind of played around with the live event structure and wanted some of them to be on at different times and just have it be a little bit different rather than having, you know, just auto events, and then you're done for the day. 
one other thing that you'll see in the top right is the 872 you get a little pumpkin token so uh, we talked about these a little bit we're gonna dive into those but we have mystery pumpkins and from playing these events you're going to be getting the costume collectibles which we'll show in a second you're going to be getting some most feared players and some field of fear players that you're gonna use to get the masters and then you're also gonna get pumpkin tokens which you could trade in for pumpkins on Halloween, you're not going to have only, you know, maybe one or two more events on the main most feared screen. You're going to have a whole trick or treat section, and this is by far the best live event screen I've made. I am so, so happy with this. It says, Happy Halloween. You got a bunch of different things. You got a little neighborhood with some houses, got a little gravestone, and then kind of an overlay in the bottom saying, Happy Halloween. So, couple things you'll notice here, there's four events, um, basically these are going to rotate in and out depending on, you know, like you play an event and then it'll refresh, you know, 15 minutes later, whatever, you know, some houses, they run out of candy, they got to restock, you get the point or whatever, so you're going to go through and play these events to get yourself candy. As you can see in the top left, you have your candy basket, and your goal is to try to fill up your candy basket as much as you can through playing events. Underneath it, it says how much candy you have, and, you know, that kind of stuff. Basically, what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to trade in this candy on Halloween night to be able to get trick-or-treat masters. The way you're going to do that is, let's say uh, a set amount of candy, 100 candy, gets you an assorted candy pack. I didn't have time to make all the collectibles, but, you know, let's say there's going to be assorted collectibles. Let's say there's a Skittles, there's a Snickers, there's a Twix, and a Kit Kat collectible. Let's just say, hypothetically, that's, that's what that is. It's those four collectibles, but then you have Trick or Treat Masters, which you need to trade in a bunch of, so you, let's say you need 10 of each of those collectibles. You see what I'm saying? So you're going to trade in and get a random candy pack, but you need a bunch of specific candies to be able to get these Trick or Treat Masters, as well as a few other most feared players and things. We'll get into card art here and everything in a second. But another big thing is tying in League Help. Somebody mentioned this in the Discord, and I thought this was a really good idea. I think it should, I think it should link in with how League Help works, and you can kind of help your teammates get more candy. If you, if they request candy or they request help or whatever, you just get more candy. Same kind of function as League Tokens and helping with that case and that everything like that. So I thought that was a really cool idea and uh, kind of can link that in. So let's get into the main information screen on how this promo is going to work and you guys get to see kind of some of the card art. So let's talk about the Masters in the top left, left first. There's going to be three event groups, like I said, Ghost, Witch, and Spider, and each has its own collectibles. We'll show those collectibles here in a second. Um, and then there's going to be three Masters per group. I obviously only made one per group, uh, just for the sake of time. And uh, you get to obviously choose which ones you want to complete. If you do finish a group, so let's say you want to complete all three Ghost uh, events, or, you know, all three Ghost Masters, you actually get a bunch of field of fear points 10k field of fear points is probably what i would give out or something like that so um you kind of have your own specific masters and then the grandmaster on the right the aaron donald you earn from finishing one of each master set but you also have to trade in a few most feared players and extra costume collectibles so it's you know it's easy without if you just get one of each you know one ghost one spider one witch um, but you also have to train in a few extra things to be able to get that Aaron Donald, but uh, not too hard to get. In the bottom left, we'll talk about the pumpkins. So earn pumpkin tokens from events, and you can trade in these tokens for pumpkins. So, you know, I had 872 I put. It's just a random number. Let's say you just have to trade in 100 tokens for a pumpkin, but you have a low chance of a jack-o'-lantern. And these are mystery prizes, these both pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns. I know we have the will-o'-wisps, or the whale o wisps sorry, that are going to be maybe like mystery boxes. We're not exactly exactly sure what's going to happen with that yet, but uh, that was kind of my thought with the pumpkin kind of thing. Maybe they'll actually do this for most of you, I don't know, but they're mystery boxes and they reveal on Halloween, and like I said, the low chance of a jack lantern. The jack lantern turns out to be a really good card, but you got a low chance, like a 1% chance in the set to be able to get that, so um, that's my thought on pumpkins. And then my favorite card art I've ever made is this Ezekiel Elliott Trick or Treat Master, available on Halloween night only. Play the Trick or Treat map and fill up your candy basket to turn candy into a sorted cut candy collectibles and then you're going to trade in candy collectibles and most feared players for a trick or treat master like i said that's my favorite card i've made for sure custom nameplate the the candy type uh nameplate kind of follow the theme of that live event screen i made with kind of that background uh, the the 
starry night sky background with the moon and the gravestone and kind of the road at the bottom too so that is kind of kind of how this promo is going to work i'll show you really quick kind of a close-up of the cards here is a close-up of the aaron donald master i thought this was pretty cool i kind of was going to do a different bottom like design for the uh for the nameplate but i think this worked and uh, i think it looks pretty good one of my favorite cards i've made for sure it's pretty simplistic but i like it a lot uh let's move on to the masters these are the three masters we got witch russell wilson kind of in the cauldron with a witch in the background we got the moon got the haunted house background we got khalil matt ghost we got some smoke got a kind of a red forest in the background with a few ghosts around him and then jj watt is a spider kind of like a like a background with most feared kind of a I don't know, like a haunted house type thing with like a wood overlay and we've got some green glowing spiders and a co uh, cobweb on in front of him uh, there. Then we've got the Ezekiel Elliott uh, trick or treat master. Once again, my favorite card I think I've ever made. Uh, really, really happy with how this one turned out. Um, 90 Evo, obviously, like I said, trick or treat master, you'll be able to get on Halloween night. Here's a close up of the pumpkins. Got the most feared pumpkin and the most feared jack lantern. These are the three collectibles. We got the ghost collectible, witch collectible, and spider collectible. Once again, you're get going to be able to get these for playing the events of the specific uh, costume collectible there. I will throw the new screen back up, but guys, that is my most feared promo concept. I put a lot of time into this, so I would really, really appreciate if you guys could hit that like button, give me some support, give me some feedback. If you did enjoy it or if you didn't enjoy it, tell me what I could have done better because I'll probably do one for Christmas I've done one for Thanksgiving a couple years ago I want to I think Christmas like uh, ultimate freeze is my last one I need to do for all the main promos So I'll uh, make sure to stay tuned for that but guys that is just about it for this video I hope you guys enjoy it today's post notification shout out is out to MT35 Be the first person to comment on a video for the next video's post notification shout out But anyways guys that is just about it for this video I hope you guys did enjoy it if you did make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm Goose TV and I'm out. I will see you guys later.